Material Graph magicians will be glad to see the new material focus features that have dropped in Keyshot 2025.3. Let's take a look. First up, and let's not downplay the importance of this, the material graph is now dockable. No longer does she have to float around without a place to call home. You can dock her just like any other panel in the main Keyshot UI, or take a full screen on a second display. In addition to this, the material graph now comes with a grid option, which you can snap nodes to to keep your charts a bit more organized. The new graph is also unlocked, meaning you can move around freely, regardless of the nodes and layout. And the updated zoom function now focuses in on the cursor, making navigating the graph a lot more efficient. With the updated material graph, we also get a brand new material type. Keyshot now supports open PBR materials, which is an open source format widely used in other 3D software. This allows you to port compatible materials over from other tools, and in theory, they will function exactly the same. You can import these materials straight from Rhino, through the Blender plugin, or as GLB or GLTF files. The open PBR format offers very different parameters to the standard material types in Keyshot, with advanced options for diffuse, metallic, specular, coat, transmission, subsurface, emission, thin film, and even fuzz, all in one panel. It's essentially a super material, do whatever you like. So even if you're making materials natively for Keyshot, you may find it easier to achieve the effect you desire. These are massively welcome changes in my eyes, but what do you think about them? Let us know in the comments down below.